Oh, how are you, Tyler? Tyler. Rick, Rick Fox. Fox. Oh my gosh, you're so tall. What to be you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I Come on in. It. This is my office. I thought it'd be a good place to spend some time. My name is Rick Fox, and if Tyler was to recognize me, I would think possibly through the NBA, because I played for the Lakers or. You may be too young to know me as a Celtic, but if not, possibly through my career as an actor. So wonderful to meet you, Rick. You too. Aww, nice thank to you for you having back. me today. So have you ever had a reading before or anything like that? I else? have never had a reading. No worries. And that makes my job unique because uh, you know, being the first person to do this for you, my job is really to try to break down exactly what I'm seeing, hearing, and feeling. I've grown over the years. As an athlete, it was very closed off very shut down, very protective. But in my marriage to Vanessa, she was very much open to a reading. I think I've grown to realize that this is supposed to happen today. Now, obviously, when people go into these experiences, they want certain things. And I really just kind of go where I'm naturally led. OK, yeah. I don't have any preset ideas of where this should go. I feel like it's a gift. It's an opportunity just to, to really uh, let someone do what they do best. Um, just gonna keep in mind, there will be, um... Huh. I'm gonna talk about the next eight months, and then I'm gonna talk about family coming together, but in a... Um, well, in, in more of a... It's always hard to say. Someone might pass away in the next eight months. Oh, sh Let me see what this is. That is. Okay. There. There, we talk about like the passing and someone passing away and like people needing to like be around and come around and like not resolve, not resolve, not resolve. There's something along those lines that's just bringing me to that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's coming in. Yeah. Yeah, that's something there. My dad. Uh, who is uh, who's very ill. It's really difficult now because I know he can hear me. I know when I'm in his presence, he's glad I'm there. But it's difficult for him to communicate. He can't really speak in words the way he wants to anymore. So, uh, you know, I want him to know that I love him and that I, I know he was the best dad he could, he could possibly be based on, you know, the parenting he got. I have some unresolved stuff with my dad. My dad maybe wasn't there for some of my stuff. He didn't teach me certain skills. So um, I got to acknowledge that with his health, um, that does bring up the thought and the concern. I think I, I, I just need to, we need to resolve some things. Um, and I don't know how to do that. I need to figure that out. As long as you're able to have that peace with your dad in life, you know, yeah, even if he's not able to necessarily communicate in the way that maybe he'd like to. Yeah. As long as you know you've said everything and gotten that out. I took that in and I'm grateful that he did step into it. It's not always easy to hear, but it gives me a runway of time. I don't think people all the time get a, uh, a heads up like that. So I'll take it. One question, yeah. it's just a burning question. My son's career, I'd like to know, will, will he ever be able to move out from under my shadow? Ah, oh, they're showing him just waiting, as hard as this is. And they're bringing me to like around springtime of 2018. This was like a wave of like invigoration. Like, oh, I know what to do. I'm moving forward now. This feels great. He's going to work it out. What's he uh, currently doing? What's his like? He's, a, he's a game designer. Awesome. He's a game designer and he's... Gotcha on his second game, which he's, will be looking to probably raise funds for it. Nice. I think it would take him to around yeah. spring to finish the game, which, I love it. so it's, it's what he's doing on his own. Oh, that feels good. He's gonna find his own path in the way it comes through and you'll be able to help him in your own way, but it looks good. I think there'll be some fun opportunities there in the long run, but I feel like you've instilled a good work ethic, so uh, that I'm not concerned about. So that's great, I appreciate that. There's a huge theme that's been in my life with both of my kids, uh, having been a professional athlete, having you know, being an actor, being on set, being traveling, they really were um, not 
blessed with what they should have had, which is a, you know, a dad that is there all the time physically. I always feel like I'm trying to keep in mind that I need a lot of catch up, but I hope they always keep an open ear to me being a dad because I'm going to try and be a dad until they're, <laughs> until I'm gone. You know, learning from your dad what to do right and maybe what to do differently, that's a gift too. Yeah. My son has his issues with me. <laughs> it's turned into a running joke. You know, you remember that time when I did this? Oh, that's right, you weren't there. You know, so it's, we've made it into a joke because I got to own those things. I got to own those moments where I wasn't there. But man, I see him becoming the man that I'm extremely proud of. And the things are going to take off for him. He'll have his independence. People will acknowledge him in his own way for being his own man. So I feel, I feel great. I feel blessed to have connected like this. So glad to meet you. Kind of cement some things for me. I tried not to hope for anything, and I got a lot more than I expected. I love meeting people that are masters and dedicated their lives to a craft or dedicated their lives to um, being of service. That's in essence what he's doing, connecting with people and being a vessel for uh, so many people to either, in my case, get clarity. I am grateful, grateful that they're there's someone like Tyler. Thanks again, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you. I Have appreciate a great it. Evening. Pleasure yes. meeting you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. It was cementing and very motivating in areas that I think I've been slow to move in. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs>